as an electronic hobbyist, you always have a few of these old transformers. Often these are um, transformers that have to be plugged in in a wall socket, but when the device to which it is connected is broke, um, you still have a functional transformer, often. Also inside here, this small nickel cadmium battery charger, it's a small transformer inside, like this one. So I was looking for an application for these uh, old transformers and I found this circuit. You can make a small audio amp with it and you only need a handful of other components. This is an NPN silicon transistor. This also one um, trimmer, one input potentiometer and a few capacitors. And then you have this circuit. In fact it's a Darlington and the audio signal is amplified very much by, by means of this Darlington. Uh, the first transistor amplifies approximately 300 times and this one for instance 70 times. And in the collector lead we connect the old transformer. All of these transformers are usable as long as their primary uh, coil has a DC ohms resistance from 200 up to 400. And the secondary doesn't matter much, something between 4 and 20 DC ohms. And uh, here you see how I made this small amplifier. It's very easy to make. There's only one critical point, and that is that the Darlington must be set to its working point by means of this 100k potentiometer. And that's very critical. Here you see the potentiometer, and there's only a very small range here in the potentiometer where the circuit works properly. So that's the only critical element in this um, small amplifier circuit. Uh, here you hear the sound. And there's also not much distortion, I found. And the 10 ohms resistor here plays an important role to limit the distortion. So you can do, you can do some um, uh, experiments with it. You can also do other experiments with uh, other transformers with um, a lower um, primary uh, resistance. Of course the current can raise here and the output volume can go up very much. I don't do these experiments now because I don't have enough time, but it's an interesting experiment to do I think. Change this PD139 for instance by a 2N3055, uh, lower this resistor and take a transformer with a lower um, internal resistance from the primary coil. Of course more energy will be transported then to the secondary side and the, uh, the power from the amplifier will go up. This is the input control. And this happens when I change the working point. So now you can see that there is no sound at all. So the working point from this potentiometer here. It's 
very critical.